Electrically chargeable vehicles are no longer an alternative fuel type, but they are also not yet mainstream. Instead, the automotive industry is in a transitional phase, increasing models available and converting plants to build vehicles around the new powertrains. It is at this point that car makers are looking to shorten supply chains for one of the most critical parts of an EV, the battery. Currently, many businesses source their technology from Asia, where most of the manufacturing of batteries is conducted. However, this does bring up some problems. Firstly, most EV batteries are of lithium ion construction. This means that they are unstable for flight, especially in large quantities. Therefore, most of these batteries need to be shipped, increasing the carbon footprint of a vehicle that is attempting to reduce carbon emissions. Secondly, having a crucial element of a vehicle manufactured in a different continent means the supply chain is extremely long. The slightest problem can lead to long delays impacting manufacturing time and therefore vehicle supply. The recent trouble in the Suez Canal with a ship blocking the waterway for days highlights the issue with this and also demonstrates the need to have battery supply almost on the doorstep. In a report published in the UK last year, the Faraday Institution highlighted the cost of importing batteries. With projections of around 1.6 million battery electric vehicles produced in the country per annum, and with 40% of a vehicle's value coming from the battery, UK imports would increase by £9 billion if 100% of batteries were brought in from overseas. Therefore, several companies, from seasoned OEMs to new startups, are planning or constructing a number of gigafactories across the continent. Chinese brand Cattell has partnered with BMW to build a facility in Germany, while SK Innovations will be creating a third site in Hungary. Swedish company Nordvolt is developing a plant in Sweden and has just sold its share of a joint venture in a gigafactory to its partner VW. In the UK, startup British Vault is preparing to build a gigafactory in Wales, while vehicle manufacturer Nissan has committed to manufacturing in the UK and will be building a new battery plant near its site in Sunderland. There is also a project in Italy named Italvolt, which, in case you hadn't guessed, is being established by the founder and former CEO of British Vault. While in France, startup business Vercor is aiming to build a gigafactory that will serve southern Europe. LG Chem is adding to its established plant in Poland. Tesla is building in Berlin. And there are also other projects on the go, all aimed at ensuring battery supply in Europe can meet demand as production of battery electric vehicles increases. But will this be enough? Volkswagen recently announced that it is to establish six gigafactories in Europe to meet its battery electric vehicle ambitions. If the car maker meets its target and achieves 100% utilisation, its 240 gigawatt hour target is 12% more than the 215 gigawatt hour global lithium ion demand in 2020, according to data from Benchmark Minimal Intelligence's lithium ion battery database. The Faraday Institution Battery demand forecasting model projects that UK EV battery manufacturing capacity in 2040 will be around 140 gigawatt hours per annum. This means there needs to be a considerable growth and establishment of manufacturing in the country, with at least seven gigafactories built in the next 20 years, each producing on average around 20 gigawatt hours of capacity a year. This would also have a benefit on jobs, with employment in the UK automotive industry growing by 29%. Jobs into production and development of internal combustion engines would transition to EV development and more skilled workers would be taken on in the new gigafactories, offsetting the fears that increased battery electric vehicle development will cost jobs. The European Union aims to produce battery cells for at least 7 million electric cars a year by 2025, the economy ministers of Germany and France and a top EU official wrote in a recent article for Handelsblatt Business Daily. As car makers transition to an EV-only business plan or scale down their internal combustion engine programs, expect the next few years to be full of new factory announcements. And of course, as the new battery technologies come to market, every new gigafactory will need to be able to adapt as the EV boom continues.